For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, we got to replace this loading by an equivalent result, resultant force in couple moment at O. You see that we have three geometrical shapes. We got a triangle right here. We got a rectangle right here and a smaller and a smaller shorter triangle right here. This length is five kilonewtons per meter. And this length of this short triangle on top of the rectangle is three kilonewtons per meter because it's eight minus five. Now that we have all our numbers, we know that the equivalent force of this triangular uh, loading, let's call it F1, acts at one third from the tall edge of the rectangle. And same thing goes for this one. One third, and let's call this one F3. And the rectangular force has an equivalent force of F2 acting right a half of the length of this rectangle. So let's find our lengths. F1 acts at one third of the length of this rectangle, which is 1.5 divided by three, which is 0.5 meters. F2 acts at half this uh, le the length of this rectangle. This rectangle is at 2.25, which will make half equal to 1.125 meters. And F3 acts at 2.25 plus one third of the length of this rectangle, which would make it at 2.5 meters. Now let's find the forces. F1 is the area of the triangle at the top, which is three times the length, which is 1.5 divided by two. And it comes out to be 2.25 kilo newtons. F2 is given by the area of the rectangle, which is easy to find, five times 2.25 is equal to 11.25 kilonewtons. F3 is the area of this third triangle, which is five times 0.75 divided by two, and it comes out to be 1.875 kilonewtons. The resultant force, they're all aiming down, so let's assume going down is positive. You just add this three, and you get that the resultant force is equal to 15.375 kilonewtons. Let's find the moment, assuming counterclockwise, I mean clockwise is positive. So F1 turns this arm, F1 times the arm, which is 0.5. F2 turns this arm also clockwise, so it's also positive. It's positive, it's also positive, F2 times 1.125 and F3 turns this longer arm with length of 2.5. When you plug F1, F2 and F3 which we found into this formula, you get that the moment is equal to 18.5 kilo newton meters. And they really are not asking you where this force acts on the beam. so. There's no need to find it. So final answer, final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.